So we look at everything. You think men judge women harshly. They do. But gentlemen, you have no idea what we're looking at. <laughs> we're judging your hair. We're judging your shoes. We scan you like predator. <laughs> every atom, every molecule of your DNA, we go through it like scanning for physical abnormalities. <laughs> Is he balding? Okay, but is it in a weird way? <laughs> is that a goatee? What's happening there? <laughs> is his shirt unbuttoned too low for his ethnicity? Is he wearing embroidered jeans? If so, is he a European male or just someone from Arizona? Like, we go through it. We go through it. We aren't looking to see if you're the hottest guy ever. Nay, we are merely assessing if you're 50% attractive enough that we want to put the effort into putting ourselves in your orbit so that in an hour after a drink or two, you gentlemen have the luxury of turning around and being like, oh, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice. And then we turn around like, really? <laughs> That's it. Just set it up for you to knock it down. And a lot of times it's not that easy. A lot of times we see a guy that we think is cute and he doesn't notice us, so we have to make you notice us. A lot of times we get our girlfriend to help us. Every girl's done this. There's a boy over there you think is cute. You're like, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Do you see that guy? The guy over there. Over there. Over there. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see that guy? You're, are you looking? Do you see him? Don't look. Do you see him? Are you looking? Is he looking? Is he looking? He's looking. He's looking. Start dancing. Start dancing. Keep talking. Say something funny. Just start talking. Just start talking so I don't look like a loser. Say something funny. <laughs> you're trying to put out this vibe that you're so carefree. Because you, and don't lie about this, you want him to look over and be like, oh, there will never be another. There has never been another. She is the one. You want him to be so taken. Oh, she looks like she doesn't need a man. So carefree. I'm so carefree. I don't use condoms. <laughs> so effortless. <laughs> If he was close, he wouldn't be hearing it. From afar, you want him to hear like, ah, sports. If he were close, what he'd actually be hearing is your, ah! like you're trying so hard. <laughs> He's going to find you. He's going to see you at some point. There's only so many places in a room, a bar, a club that your eyes can fall. He's going to see you. This is the important part, girls, okay? You're out there, it's a competitive situation. There's a lot of girls, there's a lot of bars. He's gonna look at you, that's your chance, okay? That's your chance. You only got one shot. It's like eight mile, but with flirting. <laughs> Hopefully there's no vomit on your shirt. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe we'd be like, oh, she parties. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna look over, the lights are going to reflect and refract and they're gonna hit you both and he's gonna see you and that's your chance, ladies, to fucking stick it and pose like a peacock in heat that you are just Don't dance like that. <laughs> Little bit of insight to stand-up comedy and the risk and reward with choosing certain jokes. That joke is a risk because I realize not everyone here knows what a peacock sounds like. <laughs> but for like the 12 of you that knew, it was so worth it for me. And for the rest of you, the good news is you don't ever have to hear a peacock because that was like top 10 peacock impressions you're going to hear tonight. I hate it. I hate the noise. I'm allowed to make fun of peacocks because I grew up with them. Um, what I find so unsettling, if I might divert from the stand-up to a TED talk about ornithology for like two seconds, the, it's the dip in the mating call that gives me... You're just like... It's just not... We, as avian enthusiasts, which is why you've come to my comedy show, <laughs> enjoy consistency in a mating call. Like a crow or a raven is like, caw, caw, 
it just goes, right? Um, and uh, a dove and its low rent cousin, the pigeon. It's just, <laughs> right? The dove and the bird it loans money to, just, <laughs> right? And we all know like a warbler goes like, I'm a warbler, I don't know. And then, <laughs> and the bald eagle is like, fucking freedom, okay? So, we know. To me, the peacock sounds like a tired hooker. <laughs> like he's just standing on the corner like, you wanna fuck or what? <laughs> Already paid for the room. <laughs> Another side note, I realized that a peacock is the male and they're the ones with the beautiful plumage. A peacock that's a female is a peahen and their colors are muted. So really, it's kind of a feminist joke because it's about a male prostitute. Mm. Okay, so. 